All right, guys, here's the tank filled up with water. Check out the water line. Uh, this is the first time I'm filling it all the way up with the water going into the overflow. And this is where the water line ended up. And I'm pretty happy with it. It's not too low and it's not too high. I think it's just perfect. And I'm gonna step back right here. Dude, water's in right now. And it's so clear that we, if you don't see the water line, you can't even tell if water is in the tank right now. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody's doing well today. Uh, it's like a week later, or well, two weeks later since the last video on the the tank right here. Um, I said off camera I was gonna clean the glass, but uh, I started cleaning the glass and all of the debris and stuff is down here. I'm just gonna get the hose in. I took the day off today, so I'm just gonna get the hose in and spray it down one more time and give it a good scrub and then we'll drain everything and refill it with uh, tap water. All right, I'm back. I was looking all over for this. Well, I found this piece. It's a python hose. If you guys don't know about it, um, use this to kind of do gravel filtering and kind of sucking up all the detritus from the, the sand bed and everything. But um, if you guys watch my older videos, I used the entire hose to um, kind of circulate the water when I was curing the rocks and it's just buried in that trash can full of rocks. So I don't have time to dig all of those rocks out right now. So as a backup plan right here, I'm using this Maxi, what is this? A Maxi it's a cobalt inline pump right here. And I have it connected to um, drip irrigation line which plugged into the barb um, perfectly. Just gonna turn it on and suck out all of this dirty water. We'll do another scrub and then refill. All right, so there was a film, I think of calcium buildup because I let the, the water standing in there um, just kind of evaporate throughout the year. And on the glass and on the floor right here, we had a buildup of calcium and I scraped it off with a credit card. I used a credit card. I had one of the metal credit cards um, from Chase Reserve, but um, yeah, the, the corners are rounded, so it's not gonna uh, scrape your, or scratch your glass or anything like that. So I did a quick scraping of all of the sides and the floor right there. And we're just draining out whatever's left right here. We still have some residue down here, you can see, but I'll fill it up and then that's gonna get filtered out. Almost a year later, we're getting water back into the tank right now. Gonna wait for this to fill up and then I gotta figure out the, the overflow right here. I know it needs a pump or a primer to connect to here or whatever to get water going but we'll figure it out today i totally forgot how crystal clear everything is once water gets in see the water's in right now and it's at a standstill because the, the wave makers are turned off but yeah it's just crystal clear you can just see straight through it it's getting me excited to get this whole thing um up and running again all right, I got a hose and a bucket and I sucked out most of that white stuff that was sitting on the floor. It's looking more cleaner now. And ch check it out, it's so clear, I can't believe it. All right, while we wait for this thing to fill up, I got this aqua clear power head. Um, I was gonna use this to kind of have it always on. So it will always kind of power my um, overflow right here. The overflow, you got this little nozzle right here. People usually attach a, a thing called an aqua lifter by Tom's, but I looked all over. I don't think anyone sells that anymore. And it's super expensive, like 50 bucks or something like that. And it's hard to find. So I was gonna use this right here. You can see the hose. It's for a Venturi 
um, a venturi feature of the pump to suck in air. Um, it's gonna attach that hose to this nozzle right here. So in theory, this aqua clear would always kind of pull out all of the extra air that's coming through and that should keep the siphon going. Now, I don't know where I want to place this yet. Maybe inside the tank in the back right there or um, into the sump area. I'm not too sure, but for today, I want to put it into the tank just right next to it just to just to test out the theory to see if it works to start this siphon. All right, this is the first time that water's gonna go into this overflow, but I'm gonna take a little break and <laughs> go to lunch. But um, let's, let's see how it goes when it fills up right here. I'll let it fill in and then we'll come back and mess with that aqua clear. Starting to trickle in. There you go. Stop it right here. I stopped it right here because right before it went over here, because I'm gonna leave right now and I wanna make sure um, the pipes are here and everything, they're leak free. So we'll come back after lunch and then we'll test, every, we'll check for leaks and everything once we have everything running through the system. All right guys, here's the tank filled up with water check out the water line uh, this is the first time i'm filling it all the way up with the water going into the overflow and this is where the water line ended up and i'm pretty happy with it it's not too low and it's not too high i think it's just perfect and i'm gonna step back right here dude water's in right now and it's so clear that we if you don't see the water line, you can't even tell if water is in the tank right now. Wow. This is a quick open box on the AquaClear Powerhead 50. Um, I'm using this in the reef tank, but it's pretty much straightforward. You got the unit itself, a little instructions manual, the little kit that hangs on the back, and the tubing for the venturi that goes right here we'll get this all set up and then throw it into the tank see how it goes all right guys one week later <laughs> i'm back uh last week i filled up the water and then i got in the the aqua clear and i connected the hosing right here i wanted to test to see if this aqua clear would um would pump all of the air out of here to start the siphon but i was getting ready to leave um last week so i didn't want to have everything right here wet because i was concerned that it's gonna start leaking or whatever but today we got some time so i'm gonna get the hose in and we'll pump water and we'll have this turned on to see if it sucks out all of the air and starts the siphon all right, so I got the AquaClear uh, power head plugged in right here. You can see it's sucking in the air through the overflow, but I got the water hose. I'm gonna start filling it up and seeing what happens. All right, guys, one hand here. I got the hose here and I'm just gonna put water in and start seeing this overflow, see if it starts to siphon. I'm all by myself. So I don't have anyone else helping me with the with the other task and everything. So I'm kind of doing everything myself right now. All right, guys, I'm back. So I was dumb. I didn't fill this chamber up with water. So the entire time I was filling it up with water and watching the line right here, the water never made it up here because the air is sucking in an infinite amount of air. It's sucking all of the air in here, but then down here it's not locked up with water so it just keeps sucking up infinite air so it's never gonna start to siphon I'm gonna get the water hose fill this up till right here where we'll trap in this chamber of air 
and the Venturi uh, system from the AquaClear should suck out the remaining air and it'll start the siphon. All right, so I filled it up. I filled it up, but I have a little leak right here. All right, guys, sorry I, I couldn't get it on camera, but as soon as I filled up the water up to this line right here, my um, Venturi system was already plugged in, so it started to siphon right away. But I have a little leak or a massive leak right here, right under. So I had to um, turn off the camera and everything and kind of uh, address the leak. You still see it dribbling out right there. I'm gonna get a wrench and, and get this sorted right now. All right guys, I got a little adjustable crescent wrench. I got a tool and I tightened it as best as I could and stopped the dribbling. But um, the siphons here, you can see the water already right here, all the way to the top right here and then the air whatever air is in there is getting sucked out um, right to the point right there where it's not touching the water anymore it's continuously sucking this out right now so all I got to do is add more water and then water should just start flowing through and go to the sump um, it's been so long since I set this up that uh, I forgot that I just hand tight that I just uh, hand tighten everything and I didn't really secure everything. So when I ran water through the system right here, everything is freaking leaking. So this thing was dribbling out so much water on top of these boxes. I could hear it right away. Um, this one was okay, but I tightened it. All of these unions right here were super loose as well. I I hand tightened them just right now so with that we're just gonna run water through this and check for leaks everywhere here we go I got my hose right here we're gonna just start pumping water through and this should just get watered through or water should just start flowing through and going to the sump area It's coming up um, up over the teeth right here. Once it gets over, it should just flow through. Yeah, you see it flowing through right here on the sides. There you go. Siphon starting. That's the emergency drain right here up top. I need to dial in everything at the bottom, but I don't have my hands free right now. We'll just get the water flowing through to the line right here, and then we'll start running the pump and see what happens. Now you see the air up top is getting pulled out by the, the aqua clear right here. Alright, so I still got to figure out this overflow. It's acting like a bell um, overflow. I don't know if you guys are into aquaponics and things like that. It will like, it will like um, fill up to a certain point and then it will just all drain out. Um, I wanted to maintain a siphon in here so it's quiet and this is the emergency valve. But it comes to a point where it will just start sucking all of the water down and it's super noisy. And down here, I got spiders and all of this crap in here, check that out. But um, I got the water up to a certain point right here. I, I need to connect the power to the pump and then get the water pumping through and we'll check for leaks up here. That's my main concern that this would leak or blow up or whatever and I'll get water all over the place. Alright, I have 
the pump connected. It's connected to a Casa smart plug. So let's try it. Alexa, turn on water box main pump. Okay. Okay. Let's see what happens. All right, I got lights right here. Is it turning on? No. Pump's not turning on. I gotta figure it out. I'm gonna call it a video for this one. But, got everything going. I just need to diagnose that pump. Maybe even buy a new pump. I'm not even sure. But yeah guys, stick with me. I got more videos coming soon with the, the tank and everything. I'm trying to do it every week. So, hope you guys have a great day. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.